In iSTEM, we strive to better understand the mechanisms involved in the development of disorders caused by single gene mutations, and consequently to identify through drug screening approaches new therapeutic solutions. Genetic diseases come in many forms and affect millions of people, many of whom are very young. Our primary weapon in the fight against these monogenic diseases is based on the use of human pluripotent stem cells that carry the causal mutation. These cells can be obtained either through embryos discarded during a pre-implantation diagnosis or from a patient's blood sample that is then genetically converted into induced pluripotent stem cells. Due to the properties of pluripotent stem cells, they are able to divide infinitely and to give rise to all the cell types that form an organism. Our goal in iSTEM is to use human pluripotent stem cells that harbor the genetic defect and to understand the effect of the mutation on the generation and function of specific cell types. As an example, in iSTEM, we're interested in genetic neuromuscular diseases in which motor neurons are affected. Our research tries to reveal the biomechanisms involved, in particular the identification of both biomarkers for known defects and the identification of new defects. Human pluripotent stem cells offer several important bio-applications, such as regenerative medicine and drug screening, but for all of these, a large amount of cells are required. In iSTEM, we have developed a system to automatically amplify human pluripotent stem cells and some of their derivatives in order to create large banks of genetically identified cells. These cells are subsequently stored in cryogenic containers for later use, providing the backbone of iSTEM's compound screening ability. The ability to grow and differentiate cells enables us to create large numbers of genetically diseased cells for research purposes. At the start of this process, a well plate is automatically filled by a pipetting robot. At the next station, a new robot applies different permutations of compounds to the well plate. This provides us with a method to automatically perform large amounts of drug screening. The well plate then moves to the final station, where each sample is analyzed to determine the efficacy of the compound. In iSTEM, we are using different automated microscopes that are able to determine if the cell number, shape and expression of specific markers are normalized after the treatment of certain compounds. The automated nature of this process enables us to investigate a vast number of samples. The results of the measurements are collected and processed. From the large amount of drug screening tests performed, the compounds demonstrating the most potential are selected. For these compounds, the mode of action is then researched and secondly, their toxicity is measured. When this stage is complete, an animal model is evaluated. The final step in the process of drug screening is a clinical trial. A positive result will give rise to the next generation of drugs.